Welcome back. I wanted to give you some hints on how to do homework too. Um, now, I don't want to repeat myself because a lot of this material has already been covered in the previous two videos, so you should go watch those, but um, I just want to give you a kind of an overview of what it is I'm asking you to do. So these are the steps that I'd like you to follow, but in the end you're going to draw some diagrams. And from the notes we have these shapes, these characteristic shapes, and you're going to get the all three of these, okay? Plus one more for n queens. But you're going to get something that's going to be big O of n, and you're going to get something that's going to be 2 to the n, and you're going to get something that's log n. So uh, this one, you know, the number of boxes is proportional to the problem size n. It should look like this. This one here, the number of boxes is 2 to the n, where the number of boxes is doubling as the problem size gets bigger. And then this one is log n. Well, it looks a little bit like the first one, but the number of boxes grows slower. And the only way to tell that is by executing this several times, or at least making a table. So let me give you, uh, kind of walk you through this thing and give you, give you some hints. So the first one I'm asking you to do is factorial. Okay, factorial is in the notes. I already did that for you. Okay, so this, this is what your solution is going to look like. And then you could, I'm asking you to execute it for, uh, for three here, right? I'm asking you to draw basically this. And draw this up on a computer, you know, with some kind of graphics program. And um, you could hand annotate a little bit of it, or you could use, um, you could also take a more artistic approach. Like you could use watercolors or colored pencils on paper or something like that. Um, but, but make it look pretty if you're doing this artistic approach. And then take pictures and assemble all that. Or, or you could use a computer, but I don't want you to just use a pencil just really ugly. I want you to make it look nice and take the time. Because what we're really trying to do is study the, the algorithm. And by, by, um, yeah, by spending time and making it look pretty, you're, 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 uh, you're doing a form of studying of the algorithm. Anyway, it should look like this. And if you did it for three, you'll get four boxes. And then I want you to either do it again, or really you could probably just think about it and, and come up with some kind of relationship between uh, n and the number of boxes you're going to get. And then that's how you know that it's big O of n. Right? That's the first one. Okay, the second one I'm asking you to do is this Fibonacci number thing. Okay, this guy, uh, I'll show you. It's going to look like this. Like, you have m, or you have main, and you call this guy and uh, it's calling fib twice. So uh, you, it's going to get called with, so if you call it with, uh, if you call fib from main with six, you come on down in here, it's going to get called with five, and then and it's going to go on down, and then it's going to come back and eventually get called with, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, so you call it with main, with six, it's six, it's six, six, sorry, sorry about that. This guy calls fib twice, it calls it with uh, minus one, five, and minus two, four. And then they come back, and then this one comes back too. And then, um, this is another fib, and this is another fib. And it's going to call with 4 and 3. Okay, and then this one's going to call with 3 and 2. And it's going to go down and down and, and, and uh, down and down. And at some point, it'll, it'll term, it'll, these guys will come back up. At a higher level, it sort of looks like this. You have main and then all of these. <sighs> My apologies. You have, you have main straight down to fib, and then it starts splitting. And the overall shape of this is going to be kind of like that. It goes deeper on the left than it does on the right, if you, if you put your... Um, well, it's deeper on one side than on the other, depending on you know, how you, the order you draw the, the boxes in. 
but it's it's approximately two to the end. If it were a fully filled tree of boxes, two boxes, two boxes, two boxes, two boxes, two boxes, two boxes. If it were fully filled, it would be exactly two to the end, but it's going to be kind of um, only filled on the left side. This is another. This is another optimized. You could sort of think of it as optimized in that it, it, it kind of like optimized in that it doesn't matter. And we've been talking about bubble sort being optimized and it doesn't matter. And we've been talking about in the lecture videos, I've been talking about Queens is optimized and it doesn't matter. This is kind of, it's not exactly an optimization, but it's less than two to the end because the, the tree is not going to be full. But once again, it doesn't matter. We still use this two to the end. Okay, this is just the nature of data structures. It has these kinds of hand wavy kind of, kind of things that are going on. All right. So that's what the second one's going to look like, the overall shape. Now draw it nice and put in all the code and put in all the variables and put in all the return values and, and draw it up pretty in a graphics program or some kind of art medium. But I just want to make sure you're on the right track with the shape of the curve. Okay, there's that one. Then the next one I want you to do is this Hanoi thing. Okay, Hanoi I've, I've done in the notes previously for, for, N, for H equal to... Um, Oh, this one's also two to the end. I thought there was a log n one in here, but there isn't. There's no log n one in here in the homework. That's too bad. I should, oh well. Anyway, Hanoi is gonna also be a tree. And here I've, I'm calling Hanoi for, um, for two donuts. n is equal to two. But in the homework, I'd, ask, I'd like you to do it for n equals three. So instead of three boxes, you're going to get seven boxes. You'll still get a tree, and it's going to be a big O of two to the N. Uh, yeah, thought I had a log N algorithm in here. I don't. The next one I'd like you to, to do, the last one I'd like you to do is queens. I'd like you to do queens for a four by four chessboard. So that's going to look like... You're going to start um, main. You're going to call queens with, or you're going to call uh, build. It's called build. You're going to call build with one. But in the build loop, it only iterates to, uh, to four. So you're going to call build. And the first, the first instance of build, this will go around you know, four times, calling up to a maximum of four builds. But it, it's optimized because, once again, optimization, it, it, it doesn't matter for the time complexity. But it is optimized because uh, it doesn't always call build. It only calls build if the queen is safe. Okay, so um, follow the code and draw the picture that corresponds to that. Uh, just Act, be a robot, you know, get in touch with your inner robot self, at least, at least in terms of getting this homework done. We're just trying to take code, which you already know how to do. You already know how to write code, right? At least, you know, you're, gonna, you're not as good as you want to be, right? That's why you're in school, I'm assuming. But we know how to write code. But when take that code and turn it into this, okay? Okay, so anyway, it could call build here, could call build maximum of four times and um, and n is going to be two for uh, first call and then it's one and then the second call it's all two and then each one of these could each one of these builds could call build for a maximum of four more times all right so there's four boxes four more builds Okay, and then the n is equal to three here, and it's four boxes, four builds. And this could call build for, uh, is it one, two, three, this n equals uh, four, maximum of four. 
So it, 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 it's not going to be this many boxes because of this if, right? So your, your diagram won't have all of the possible boxes. But uh, yeah. And so um, see the partial solution posted to make sure that you're on the right um, track. And the other thing I could say about this thing is the big O is going to be, it's going to be end of the end. I'll just tell you, I mean, it, <clears throat> it's, I guess the best way to think about it um, is we ha compare this to what we had before. Where we have, um, we had one that was two to the end, right? There you have it doubling every layer. Here it's, a maximum of four calls every layer. So it's four calls multiplied you know, or raised uh, you know, to the fourth power. It, it, it is a little confusing, but that's what it is. And if you want, if you need, my main, my main goal is just for you to translate this code into this thing and then kind of try and relate that to how that's big O of, of end of the end. You, and it's good enough for our level of the class that we're at right now. Later on, you, you go on in your education, that will make you do harder stuff. But also, see the, um, the doc, um, you know, analysis of, of, uh, of Queens, you know, for extra info, really. Okay, but take these four algorithms, Queens, Hanoi, Factorial and Fibonacci. Draw pretty diagrams. Draw pretty diagrams. Assemble all of that all up into a nice PDF and email that to me. All right. Now I went kind of brief on this, but you need to look back at the other two videos that are posted for the detail information on how to get these guys done. But hopefully this brief overview will give you an um, just keep you on the right track for what I'm asking for for the for the homework. All right. It's going to be four diagrams that you're gonna draw up pretty and assemble that and, and, and turn that in. And, and follow the directions. I think I'm also asking you to, to list what the big O, you know, what is the big O, right? And, uh, and why. Okay, have fun with that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.